We're going down, check out the trade night. We got the man that made exquisite in the house. Ooh. It's fucking insane. Oh shit. <laughs> this is live. <laughs> <laughs> at the Nike outlet. We're trying to find a shoe that I can actually hoop in. And right now we only got these so far, but these are just like clunky. I don't like the vibes. Oh my God, these are ugly. Hey, if you're gonna go ugly, you might as well go ugly. Uh, these aren't that ugly. Oh, this way it is. It looks <laughs> ugly as fuck. Damn, bro. Man went on Luke and nine. There you go, bro. See. That's my first card that was given to me. Really? Someone gave you this? Yeah, it's a tip. It's like a thousand dollar card. I know. Oh, man's on top of the game now, dude. <laughs> These are sentimental cards because I, I went to Oklahoma and played you told me that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is sick. Tyler, this is sick. No more restaurant biz. He's all in the cards now, dude. No, I gotta go work tomorrow. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. So Y'all come on over. Yeah, yeah, we will. I'll be there all week. Uh, we'll be there. Okay, I'll see y'all. All right, brother. Damn, that's sick. How much is those, do those run? Cause isn't the Acuna more? So why is... So that's why I bought it the last show, because I mean, for what, for what his were selling for versus like, I mean, I know Soto's young and all that, but like, his is 100K. But he's got rings. I'm in. You know we, you know we had to be fresh coming in, bro. Coming in. It's nice. Right? Night yesterday? Big night. Tell the people. Last night on the Big Night Breaks Instagram page, we had none other than Dana White, president of the UFC, on our live, ripping a box of UFC prison. Him and me, me and him. It was a sight to see. That's dope, bro, though. Congrats, dude. Thanks, Congrats, man. So fun. Yeah, he seems like a good dude, too. Good dude. What was cool about it is, like, you could tell he went from, like, unengaged to fully engaged. Like, two packs in, he was like, oh, my God, this is so cool. Yeah. It's like, that's my entire weekend's card right there. You just pulled, you know, Vaughn. You just pulled Gaethje. You yeah. just pulled, it was amazing. Yeah, that's so fucking dope. Fun. You got some nice shit. How much is this? I got a buyer, but not at 20. How much buyer? How much your buyer at? It's like 17. Well, also, Jordan 9 I need. Can I look at this one? Mind if I take a pic? What's your best on the Jordan? It's already one cash. Cash? The copies. Like this one's nice, but it's not like you know what I mean. Like the ones I sold for their like I'll pay. Like we'll pay strong uh, pricing or LeBron's just because I have one. I got into two of them cheaper from that same guy. Dude, you got the nav haircut. Hey, you know what I'm talking about, bro? I know. No, nav, nav's clean. Nav's oh, I know. EMS Barbershop. You gotta get your cut there. Fade. A little fade ski. Wavy on top. Wavy. Call it a day. Really? Try down some canes after. Dude, walked in. All slaw. That's not bad. That's not. Let me simmer. Jordy Simmer and Gander in the same set. If he gets it done, I'll pay him 20 bucks. Take a Gander at a Jordy, but I don't know about the price, so we're gonna let it simmer. No, but see, that's a run on sentence. Don't keep emotion. He murdered me. We all got murdered. We all died together. That was the black hat. We're all gonna be working at Kane's one day. We can start our own franchise. That's a play. But I already have something with Ryan that I got a crispy Kane's. It's a crispy cream and Kane's in one. Bro, it'd be so fire. I have like the donut and then the chicken in the middle. Take a bite. That's a heart attack. Okay, so it's like one comp, like the lowest comp in the past. That was the three. most recent comp. We should be the lowest comp in the past three months. Past three all right, years, Sasha, bro. what about the other comps? <laughs> You're going back when the market so was been, hot. Okay, five it's grand. It's the nicest one. You know what? The, I'm not going to give you under on the nicest five. I'll think about it for sure. You'll think about it, oh, and when you come back, it'll be gone. Trend. I don't think so. I'll be like, damn, Sasha, so long for five grand. I'm scared of Luca right now, to be honest. Everything else. No, the, so much of it. The silver and the base are in a free fall right now. It's scary. Yeah, it, but it, it, but don't you also think it's kind of due? Yeah, 100%. Like, I don't have.
have any Luca shit anymore. That's the market's different. Like two years ago, you could buy Luca base raw, flip it, or grade it and flip it. But now it's like hard. It's way tougher now to make money too, like consistently. Agreed. It's way tougher. And PSA being shut down. Is yeah, and then they're everything out of and then they're just giving people like a shit ton of nines. Like the right thing to do, I don't fucking know. But like, does it help the market? I think so. There's also less people who send, you know, their bullshit to PSA. I do wax, but like not like at scale. You know what I mean? It's just tough to fucking look at this every day. Like you're breaking it, so it's different. But like when this is just like there, I'm like a brown box. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> no, like I would buy like optic mega like boxes like I don't know like 2,500 and then it'll be 45. I'm like fuck. Yeah. I held that shit in my room for like two months. And now you get like 200 dollars out of it. <laughs> yeah. But like it's just all supply and demand. Right now is a time where everything is so like on the downward. Everything's trend soft right now, bro. Because every everything is just kind of coming back. I heard some guy was cashing people out. Uh, and I go, was it, is that my boy? And then I saw the sticky notes and I said, there's some Burbank vibes going on right here. Last PSA 10 to 23, I'm at 35. It's, it's top 10, there's 10 of these, that's it. Calm 1600, but you know, if we're dealing, you know. I'm gonna sell this to you. You'd rather have this card all day over like- People you can move that card to. Man, I'm coming to you. <laughs> Wait, I just I just came over because I saw the sticky notes. Like I, I have a feeling you and I are gonna do a big deal. I can literally feel it in my loins. Oh, I'm gonna butter on both sides, you. Fair warning to all the children at home. <laughs> there will be a large deal going down between Sasha and Dean Costa. See? See? Fair warning. I can feel it in my loins. Hello everybody. Hey buddy. Hello everybody. Hey. Hello. <laughs> I'm sitting here with the man that has Giannis Gold. What is your name? Adam Rips. What is your Instagram? At Rips Cards with two Ps. The question that everybody wants to know, when did you buy this mysterious Giannis Gold? March of 2019 from Mr. MC Sports Cards, wonderful man. Actually, funny story, stuff that he got went up very, very much. He got a Giannis Silver 9.5. Oh, really? He got a Kobe LeBron Jordan Triple Auto to Ooh. 25. That was at like 13K value, and that's probably six figures. Didn't lose too bad. Uh, Rips, how old are you? 18 years of age. What is that Giannis card value today? Can it be up on Fractional? It, it, I did see it up on Fractional. It's $10 per share for everybody, uh, but like, what's like the price point? A little over 400, depending on how the fees 400. go. Probably 420k. Min Gem 95 did over half a million. Like if I'm like a normal person, when can I like buy a stock into that card? Hopefully soon. They sell the cards the same way that like a company gets, you know, IPO'd and made legitimate. Yeah, so yeah. they have to do the same process. A lot of legal. So work. it goes, yeah, goes through the SEC. They have to approve it, and it's on a priority time in there. Hopefully within a week or so, uh, just in time for him destroying the heat in the first round. One, one piece of advice for uh, for somebody that wants to get into the industry. Take it easy first, learn a lot. We're at a very interesting point where cards, even though they're low since a couple months ago, they're still super high compared to many years ago. But take it easy, don't buy in right away, learn a lot, look at trends. I said this the other day, I think reap in like all the benefits that you can get from learning. Like when I was young, since then I've learned so much about economics and market supply, supply and demand, finances, whatever. That's very important, you know, especially if you're young, you get to learn a lot of stuff through the industry. Some good piece of advice by uh, Mr. Rips. The market has softened. So, like, do you think on the high end it's buy time right now or is it on like particular things like you're thinking yeah i think you know when it's something like a jordan like jordan psa 10s and 9s wow. and 8s that's a great example where stuff is down like you know 50 percent from where it was lebron chromes i i think that their buys i don't see i think that they've hit their floor from the time being yeah. that doesn't mean in a couple years down the road they're not going to be less it doesn't mean that they can't go up and down i think that the goal of like every collector in this room is building up their collection getting high-end cards rails that they want to keep yeah so i think that stuff like jordan kobe lebron and then like Luca, Kawhi, Giannis, whoever it is. Whoever they collect, they want to build up to the grill, so I think the high end is, you know, a lot less... Risky? A lot less risky, right? There's so many labs and prisms and whatever. I think yeah. the stuff that's signed, the serial numbered autograph, I think it's in much better shape. What are you looking for? My thoughts is that if I can pick up a few nice vintage basketball cards, okay. that'd be great, though I don't see much out. And I want to sell some stuff. I think modern, some modern, modern basketball that I'm not as high on, I think it's going to sell at the show because that playoffs are coming right up. Yeah. Maybe add a few new cards, but nothing that I'm chasing in particular. Reporting here live from the Dallas show, we're out. It's a thing, like a lot of people, they get a misconception because they put them in those, those screw downs. You can, yeah. yeah, and then with PSA, people try to put them to PSA and then they get altered because microscopic of like like centimeters get pushed in from the corner. If you ever see a card in a screw down case, like you know the big one? Like yeah, you know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Do not buy them because they will always come back altered. So some guy brought in six Jordans, they were flawless. They all got altered. Because they're in the screw
screw down when they took it. I know we've like talked to each other, yeah. but I feel like like, like officially like, like yeah. what do you think about this card? I like it. Do you, I don't know. What do you think it's worth that? Some dude threw one up for 30k. He's hoping to get 20 out of another guy. I, 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 I wouldn't be comfortable paying that much for it. It'd be fucking 10. It could be 20. The guys here wants what's 12. Out of it. Oh, then that's not bad. No, I think it's it could be a 15k card safely. But again, it's like 12k. 22. I'm at like 19 bucks. Why? 23. I'm at like 2k. What, what was your price? 2k. I I bought it for three grand. <laughs> I know, but these are tough moves right now. You know that, right? Like, they're tough. I mean, they're not that tough. I sold one today. How much? They're not that tough. Two grand. I'd buy it at like 17 grand. Well, what else do you want to buy? That's literally the only That's one. That's the only one. That's literally it. All right. Okay. All right.